hello friends in this video we are going to learn that how can we load the google's word to vec model and here i have written some lines which is just passing the path where this um, google word to vec model is stored and i have stored in a variable which is embedding file so let's run it and now it, it is uh, fully retrieved so it doesn't take much time and now we will start coding and uh, and step by step we will see that how can we uh, load this model and we can use it okay so for that we need to import some libraries like keyed vectors and word to vec from gensim model so let's code from gensim dot models okay uh, we need to import two uh, files which is keyed vector okay here it is and separated by comma we can we will also uh, import word to vec so we are going to use the, these two uh, libraries okay and now we will see in the next line that how we will use these keyed vectors and what to vec so for that because we are going to use the word to vec model so let create instance name model and then these two uh, methods keyed vectors dot so load word to vec format okay so here it is right so it's a function and to know more about that you can you can read these documentation about this that it load the input hidden weight matrix from the original word to vec okay so these are the parameters we can adjust which is encoding unique code limit limit is the is the number of words uh, for which you want to you want to download uh, the vectors okay so you can set the limits but here in this tutorial i am going to use it fully and i am going to use uh, i am not going to use this or set the limits to any of the thousands or uh, lakhs words so so leave it so so first of all we need to pass some parameters like uh, i will use two parameters first is file name and the second is the your uh, your the binary uh, value which is uh, by default is false but so let's uh, take the file name file name is my embedding file so here it is and then the binary is true because of this uh, model so we need to set this uh, binary true right okay so let's uh, download it uh, in my model right so this so it's started executing so it will take few minutes and so until it is uh, executing uh, I, I want to tell you that the google's word to work model represents the words or the tokens in 300 dimensions okay means the vector representation of any of the words is uh, 300 uh, long size okay so and it does uh, it represents in a very dense matrix so we will see uh, when it is uh, when it will uh, fully downloaded we will see that the the, the this is a very very dense representation dense representation means that uh, in in 
count based model like backwards and and the frequency based models like term frequency and inverse document frequency model the words are represented in a very sparks uh, way or in a very sparks matrix a sparks matrix is uh, where the most of the entries are zeros and uh, in dense representation we we don't have the zeros okay so uh, we have all the values so we have 300 values for the each word in this in this uh, google word to work web model okay so and uh, we will see that how how accurately or how how effectively it represents the words in a way that if you use in your projects in in, a, in any text classification problem on in any natural language processing problem uh, whether it is uh, to use uh, these these models to to or to complete a sentence or to predict some uh, words uh, in a sequence so it will be helpful and it will be good so now it's uh it's downloaded has been completed so we have uh, stored google word to vec in in a variable name model so first look that what uh, how it is uh, representing the the words okay so for that we need to uh, use this model and model dot most similar right most similar words so let's see most similar so here i have this most similar is again a method or a function right so in that you need to pass a a word okay so again google word to work model is the is represents as you know that in in 300 vectors and the corpus or, or the or the words are collected from the google news so it's a very very huge uh, collection of words in millions okay so let's uh, first find that what is the most similar to the man okay so let it is stored in a uh, vector right so in a variable called vec so here we have this uh, most similar uh, it will give you the most similar words or more similar talk tokens uh, to the men so just uh, print it and uh, so now you can see here that the most similar words to the man is woman, boy, teenager, teenage girl, suspected robber, robbery, suspect, teenager and man okay so this is the how uh, they are similar okay so okay and now we can check out for the for the representation okay uh, as I am saying that it represents the words in, in 300 dimensions so let's check how it represents how it uh, represents or how it gives a dense vectors of, of of the size 300 right so let's quickly run it and here you can see that this is the uh, okay this is the representation for any of the words that are uh, exist in in this model okay so model man so we have this 300 representation so you can see here closely that we don't have only zero value right so but we have some very very dense representation for each of the words so okay now go to a very very classical uh, example which is of king minus man plus queen so let's uh, see, see it how it is calculated so i have taken a, a variable v and using this model so king uh, minus man okay so king minus man is uh, this uh, right and then 
plus queen right so model and then queen right okay so now here if we run it so it's successfully done and then we'll see that what we got in v right so for that uh, uh, model and again we have to run this uh, more similar right uh, more similar and then we have to pass this vector okay we have to pass this vector so and let's see that what it uh, comes so here we have this like king minus man plus q queen is the the queen king and queens monarch kings princes royal and princes right so in that way you can see here if you analyze this the queen is uh, the vector is uh, the similarity okay the similarity is 84 percent so it's correctly predicted that king minus man plus queen is queen right so in that way you can uh, also use like for if i subtract uh, football from a, a footballer and plus cricket then you can calculate also this like if i use here messi right messi and okay sorry it's messy messi and uh, now here is football right and then cricket so what you expect it it must be uh, predicted so like some cricketers thing okay so if you we run it so it's successfully run and then we need to check what it gives so let's say we have this Sachin Tendulkar Dravid Sehwag Okay, also is cricket, gambling, bomb, bomb, and man and messy, right? So in that way, you can play with it. So it's a very nice representation, and it's a very nice model that Google has uh, created. So in my next video, I will explain about each and every step and the basics of globe.